Nancy's right. The sky's not falling. Anyway, welcome to our second of two live open houses. I'm going to put this down so I don't shake. Uh, before I get started on this open house, I wanted to give thanks where thanks are due. So let me just hold this up. Hopefully that stays. We can see this, right? All right, there we go. wanted to say thank you to Wendy Jensen. The home we're going to take a look at today is listed by Wendy Jensen from our office. And for those of us who don't know, Wendy is a, um, she's, she's a healthcare worker. She's not, she's not in the emergency room. She's not on the quote unquote front lines of this health crisis, but Wendy works with dialysis patients. So even during this COVID-19 health crisis, Wendy still, people still need dialysis. So Wendy has to be in the hospitals, you know, to help her patients receive the dialysis they so desperately need. So again, big thank you to Wendy Jensen and to all the healthcare workers out there during, not just during this COVID-19, but you know what? Even when this does end, thank you, for just being there, even when there isn't a COVID-19 for crying out loud. I know we're your heroes today, but you're heroes every day. And unfortunately it takes a pandemic to remember that. But anyway, I digress. So as Nancy Cagno so eloquently said in less than a minute this morning in her video, the sky is not falling. The pause button has been pushed slightly on real estate. And I, I, don't, I don't even know if that's a, a correct term. You know, there are still homes being sold. As a matter of fact, if you watch Nancy's video, you know, she's working with first time home buyers who are losing out in bidding wars. She's working with baby boomers in the adult communities who are losing out in bidding wars. So yeah, maybe not as much real estate is being done as would have been in April 2020 if there weren't a pandemic. Maybe not as much real estate's being done in April 2020 as was done in April 2019. But real estate is still being done, ladies and gentlemen. It's still being done. So we're going to take a look at 516 Montgomery Avenue here in Pine Lake Park in just a minute. And, uh, and then we'll talk about the real estate market more. I'm going to put this away. Oh, if you stick around till the end of this live open house, I have a special announcement, a special thank you to, uh, to our, to actually, I'm not even going to limit it to first responders since it's such a broad general. Just stick around to the end. I'll, I'll tell you what my, uh, what my offer is, what my surprise is. Okay, cool. All right. So Thank you for watching. Give me some thumbs up, some hearts. If you're seeing this, if you're hearing me, if I'm coming in loud and clear, if I'm making any sense. Hey, Wendy's here, so now I can hold it up and show her. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. All right. Again, I'm not doing this for me personally. I'm doing this for our company. I'm doing this for our industry because I think we, even though we say, you know, we've we've pivoted to a virtual, a virtual economy, we've pivoted you know, to a virtual real estate business. You know, I don't see too many other live open houses that are really live. I see these Matterport tours. I see slideshows. I see some video walkthroughs, but I don't see personalities. I don't see faces. I don't see exchange. I don't see engagement. I don't see reality. So I know it's tough. So I'm putting it out there to show you, hey, it's not that hard. Action speaks louder than words. Don't tell people that you are a real estate virtual specialist if you're not going to put your face in front of the camera and put your money where your mouth is, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I digress long enough. Let's turn this camera around and let's take a look at the house. Okie dokie. All right, so 516 Montgomery Avenue. Let me just throw this in here. All right, here we go. Take a slight pan. A little slower, right? We don't want to get seasick. There we go. Okay. This is a four bedroom, two and a half bath colonial. All right, I'm getting, I got the camera 
in a different angle here. So I'm gonna walk slower and not to be, try to be too bouncy. Now I've already disinfected this house prior. Good, I got my reflection here. So I've already disinfected this house prior to this walkthrough. So don't freak out when you see me opening up doors without gloves on or a wipe in my hand, okay? Thanks, appreciate it. All right, so we walk in, you have a center hall colonial here. We could go up the stairs to the bedrooms. Let me just get this a little tighter grip on this. Or we can go in here to what is the formal living room that enters into the formal dining room. You notice the manufactured hardwood floors. Here's your formal dining room. That light was on, don't know what happened to it, but I know it was on when I turned it on. Again, manufactured hardwood floors and into the kitchen, right? Which opens into a little breakfast nook area here. Again, let me get the light behind me so it shows a little bit better. Hardwood floor running throughout. Let's come back and take a look at the kitchen from this angle, All right? And then yes, ladies and gentlemen, there are my Clorox wipes. So I'm not telling a fib, okay? All right, and then the kitchen opens up into the family room with the gas fireplace. That leads then to a patio outside, fenced in yard. Right, let's come back around and park in the kitchen for a minute. Access to the garage is through here. There you go. And I'll just finish up the bottom floor here with the, uh, the water closet or the half bath here, right? There you go, soap and paper towels, right? We're all ready for visitors here. Again, this is an unoccupied home, which means it is safe for your customers to view, for our customers to view. Let me put this down a minute. Fix this, bring you back up, turn this around. There we go. Okay, good. All right, so I'm gonna stand back a little bit here. Hi, Judy, how are you? Good to see you. Judy tuning in like a champ. Rock and roll, Judy, give me a thumbs up. All right, so a little bit about what's going on in Pine Lake Park, which is located in Manchester, even though it is technically a, well, not technically, it's a Tom's River mailing address. Joanne, all right, Joanne. Thanks for joining. All right, so what do you think is happening in the Pine Lake Park real estate market right now, right? We, I talked earlier about the pause button being pressed, okay? So let's take a look back briefly, okay? And, and you know me, I'm the smug broker here, okay? Smug warning coming up. If you watch my YouTube channel, I made a video back around the holidays that said there is no such thing as a seasonal real estate market anymore. And that in 2020, there was really no such thing as a seasonal real estate market. And if you wanted to get top, top dollar for your home, you should have listed in January. I told you so. You should have listed in January. But anyway, let's get it. We're in April. We're in mid-April. Right. Anybody want to take a guess? What is the current months of inventory in Pine Lake Park in Manchester, mid-April. Hi, Alana, how are you? There's a Manchester gal. Okay, Manchester family right there. Pine Lake Park residents tuning in, Alana, thank you. Anybody? We're, we're real estate experts, okay? Let's see if the public knows more than the real estate industry. How many months of inventory are currently on the market in Pine Lake Park, mid-April. Anybody want to take a guess? Six. Six months of inventory. Currently, sorry, Mark, six months of inventory. Currently, we're in a balanced market, right? A balanced market is five to seven months of inventory. Judy, it was four in March, okay? 30 days ago, it was four months, so... So we're, you're, you know, if we're looking back like the stats want us to, 
you know, the New Jersey Association of Realtors puts out their market reports. You know, in March, it was 4.3 months to be exact. So just 30 days ago, it was a seller's market. Today, it's a balanced market. Just about six months worth of inventory. Now, the, the good news is that means prices are flat. They haven't gone down, right? They're just level right now. Now, Pine Lake Park's a weird market, right? Currently, there are 30 single family homes for sale in Pine Lake Park, 30. And they run from about just under $100,000 all the way up to about $410,000. So the so there's a big fluctuation, right? 100,000 all the way up to 410 currently for sale. With the average sales price right now being around $315,000, right? The good news is as of today in April, the sales price to list price ratio for homes in Pine Lake Park is 100%. So the homes that are selling right now in Pine Lake Park, they're selling for full price. They're they're selling for asking price. So that so that's that's very cool, okay? So, so there, there you go. A little bit of statistics for you. I know I'm boring you to death, so let's get back to the tour, shall we? Okay, so let's fix you. Turn this back around. All right, so this home also has a full basement. Let's go down and take a look at this basement. There you go. All right. So full unfinished basement. There's your washer and dryer. And there's your HVAC water heater. And I'll come back around this way. And we also have extra hardwood floor, flooring. So if you want to finish off one of the bedrooms or you want to match it and finish off all of the bedrooms, be our guest. Turn this back around. As I mentioned, this is a four bedroom, two and a half bath colonial. It was built in 2004. Right. Currently just about almost 23, currently, not, gonna, not like it's gonna change, 2,300 square feet, I think 2,283 to be exact. It's on a 100 by 100 lot on a cul-de-sac in the newer section of Pine Lake Park, 2004. We're gonna go outside here, show you the 100 by 100 lot. Since it is in a newer section, it is located, I mean, not located, it is on public water, but a septic system. All right, so I'm gonna turn this around again so I can show you the yard. There we go. Got an, one shed there, vinyl fence, All right. a little paver patio. Little water element here, arborvitaes again, arborvitaes, whatever they're called. All right. Come back so you can see the back of the house. Maybe I'll sit down for a second. All right. Looks brand new, okay. I won't argue with that. All right, so let's have a little discussion about why this house, if it's so nice, why is it on the market, right? Well, this house originally came on the market back in January. This seller actually listened to us and put it on the market when they were supposed to and had an offer in less than a week. As a matter of fact, the reason it's unoccupied is because they already moved into their new house, their new home. Unfortunately, the financing fell through within the last couple of weeks. So right when this COVID-19 crisis hit, coincidence, their financing fell through. So... One, one person's bad luck is another person's good luck. So if you're interested in taking a look at this beautiful home on 516 Montgomery Avenue in Pine Lake Park, leave a comment below. You know, Wendy's gonna be out of commission a little bit. Like I said, she's, she's taking care of patients who need help. She's taking care of dialysis patients. But we have plenty of professionals who are trained in sanitary showing procedures. Again, sanitary showing procedures will be more than happy to bring you into this beautiful home. I, I sanitize it personally myself. So if you're interested, leave a comment below, or if you're worried about you know, other people 
seeing your comment below and, and hounding you, private message us. Send us a message. We'll, we'll hook you up with one of our professional agents. Cool? All right, let's go back inside and finish up. Anybody have any questions while we're going back inside? Nice yard for Elvis. Lisa, there's your fence. You got it. And there's the gas fireplace again. Slowly, I gotta remember, slowly pan. Come back into the kitchen where all the conversations take place. Put you down. Let's turn you back around. Ah, Wendy reminded me, what's the price? Never give away all the information, Wendy. Like, you gotta let them ask, right? You gotta let them ask, okay? All right, so this beautiful four bedroom, two and a half bath colonial, remember it's young, 2004, okay? Is listed for 349.9. Everybody's giving away the price, okay? So, and like, kind of like Zillow, right? Let me put this up a little bit. All right, so. Since we're not on Zillow, everybody's giving away the price, 349.9. So now that you know the price, you've seen the house, if it's not for you, tell somebody about it. Let somebody know. You know, this, you know, this, is, this is an opportunity waiting for somebody who perhaps needs a home right now, their, their home is sold. You know, here's, we're to, let's talk about opportunities. Let's end on opportunities, okay? So, we heard Nancy, we saw Nancy this morning. I talked to Nancy a couple of days ago. She told me the story about her buyers losing houses. First time home buyers, bidding wars. Adult community buyers, bidding wars. So where's the opportunity, Jim? Where is the opportunity? Well, it's right here in the middle. The move up home. This is the opportunity, ladies and gentlemen. If there is a deal to be made, and I'm not sick. Full disclosure, disclosed dual agency, right? Consumer information statement acknowledgement, okay? This is a live open house, so I had a CIS statement. This is it. We represent the seller with the opportunity for a disclosed dual agency. Our seller is fully aware that their prior deal fell through and they have given us permission, right, Wendy? To say that they are motivated and willing to consider offers, okay? We know they're asking 349.9. We know they'll accept 349.9. But if there is an opportunity in the marketplace today, it is in the middle, in the move up home, the four bedroom, two and a half bath home. That's where the opportunity is, ladies and gentlemen. That's where the opportunity is. Do you hear it knocking? All right, so. I wanna thank everybody for joining me. Give me some more thumbs up and some hearts if you found this live open house useful. And if you do, give me those thumbs up and hearts. I'll get to my offer. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, Wendy. How you doing? This is the same model home we have purchased. All right, there we go. We have a raving fan. Alana purchased the same model through us, through her agent, Gail Flanagan, right? So we helped, we helped Alana sell their home over in Oak Knoll and, and help her buy her home here in Pine Lake Park. Thank you, Alana, for being a loyal customer and client. We really appreciate you. Thank you for tuning in. All right, I got my thumbs up in my hearts. So I'm gonna close out with my offer. As you know, we are a small local business. Three offices, Tom's River, Manchester, and Bayville. Small business, we've been in business here in Ocean County for just over 40 years. We love other small businesses. We support other small businesses. This economic shutdown is killing small businesses. I understand the reason for it. We understand the reason for it. It's life and death. We get it. But at the same time, we also get that the small businesses have to do business to keep going. They have to keep their lights on. They have to keep their people employed. We have to keep the economy going. So I saw on Facebook and on Instagram yesterday that one of my personal favorite small businesses, local small business, 
fast break, Cindy's fast break, is going back into the takeout business tomorrow, Monday, starting at 9 a.m. So she's opening back up from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. Cindy's fast break right on Route 37. I affectionately refer to it as our executive dining room since I have lunch there often. So here's my offer. Any, not anybody, the first, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna call Cindy tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. and I'm gonna give her my credit card for $100. $100, so anybody who needs breakfast tomorrow, whether you're a healthcare worker, a Wawa clerk, a grocery clerk, um, you're just hungry and you don't have food in your fridge. I don't care. Tomorrow, I'm calling Cindy, I'm giving her my credit card number for 100 bucks. First come, first serve, breakfast on me, just for a way of saying thank you. Every little bit helps, I wish I, I, wish I could do more, maybe I will do more. Share the wealth a little bit in other local restaurants so that, so that we help each other get through this. All right, so, Cindy's Fast Break. Anybody wants breakfast tomorrow morning? Well, not anybody. I only got a hundred buck tab going, so. So if you want breakfast, give Cindy up, give Cindy, a, I'll let Cindy know, give Cindy a call and say, I, Jim said I could have breakfast on him if it's still available. Cool? All right. Thank you for joining us and the rest of the day to yourselves. Stay home, stay safe. We'll get through this together. Thank you.